Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today in this tutorial we are going to look at how to download the evaluation version of Server 2019, Windows Server 2019 and how to install it. So in order to download it, what you need to do is you need to type it in Google Windows Server 2019 download so you can get 180 days trial without uh, any license or anything i mean you can try it for 180 days free and it would include each and every feature of it so when you come to this microsoft download link you have option for Azure, you have option for ISO and VHD, which is for Hyper-V hard drive. We are going to choose ISO file. I need to fill this form, of course. And whatever. Once I'm done with this form, I'll just click on continue and then I'll choose the language and then just I'll click on download and it will start downloading it for me. So the download for Server 2019 is already done. As I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new machine over here and we are going to use windows operating systems over here and i'm going to choose 2016 uh, because i don't see 2019 over here it's fine we can choose 2016 for now uh and yeah so we'll use 2016 and we'll say next um i'll just point it to where I want to keep them so I want it to be in my D drive for example and I'll name it uh, uh, let's say so 2019 and I'm going to click next over here once this is done I would choose my hard drive I'll probably keep it 100 GB I would store it in a single file or multiple files it's up to me uh, it will split it uh, into different uh, files if you are keeping uh, virtual disk into multiple files and it is easy to copy and uh, take it to the next machine uh, now i'm going to customize this because anyway i don't need printer to be connected to it i'll remove it um, for image uh, i would just point it to the location where the files are and i'll just point it to my uh, downloaded image and i'll say close over here and i'll say finish i would change the hardware a bit because i would think i think that we should have at least uh, four processors and 4 GB of the disk space. I'll say OK over here, and then we are going to say that we are going to power it on now. I'll just rename from here also. Uh, sorry, by mistake, I did remove. I'll just rename it to server 2019, and now I'm going to power it on. We'll just follow the wizard uh, while we would be doing this uh, installation. Uh, and it's like when you 
machine boots up of course it loads the initial files and then it would give me the wizard which i would be walking through and then we would be choosing options what we need and then we would just simply uh, do the installation of this machine so the first uh, window over here is to choose the language and the keyboard method what you need and you will say next over here uh, after that if you want to repair your computer this image can be used for that also or you will say install now once you will say install now it will prepare the setup uh, to start and after few seconds or i think maybe like 30 seconds or a minute or so um, based on of course the speed and uh, uh, files uh, space it would take little time of course um, over here you can choose evaluation for standard edition you can choose standard evaluation for desktop experience which we are going to use uh, you can use data center evaluation this these are the core ones which does not have desktop experience by the way uh, so i'm going to click on next i'll accept this license terms and agreement uh, you can go upgrade install windows and key file settings and application if you already have windows and you want to upgrade it you can use this option or you can simply just use install windows only with advanced and then you are going to use your hard disk which you are actually using uh, which we have created over there and i'll say next over here and it will start copying the windows file it will prepare the files for the installation and then it will install the features and updates and then it would finish it up so normally again it would take little time uh, if you are doing it through USB, if you are, you have created the bootable USB, let's say if you are using it on a physical drive, physical server, it would be quick. If you are using the virtual environment, it would be quick because, uh, of course, it is reading the image and the files from the local hard drive. It's not reading from the CD-ROM. Normally, if you are doing it through DVD or CD-ROM, it takes little time. Of course, the optical uh, read write is slower than your flash memory or the disk read write so based on all these factors it would probably take more or less some different different time uh, for all these things to be finished and once they are finished we will have our windows installed and we would be required to reboot our machine if we would not do it manually uh, it would do it automatically in certain seconds otherwise you would have an option to just simply click on restart when that window would come up So the process of uh, getting files ready is just uh, about to finish. Uh, once this is done, installation, insul installing features, installing updates would not take that much time. Mainly the time which is consumed uh, and the process which takes more time is getting files ready for installation. The rest of them doesn't take that long. And once we are done with the installation, as I said, we would be presented with the reboot option or it would automatically reboot the windows so if you look over here now we have restart option we can restart from here 
uh, normally what I do I prefer to remove the bootable drive so that it should not go into that loop and once this uh, machine boots up it would have our windows installed already so the window is about to load I mean it's almost ready it's just preparing the uh, windows to get uh, desktop experience of course but before desktop experience we would have small walkthrough wizard which we need to walk through um, to select different things uh, options what are required uh, so normally when the window is prepared it would reboot at once uh, which it is doing now and now what we are going to have is our windows server 2019 ready to be used uh, as i mentioned earlier this would be the evaluation version uh, with full fledged features for 180 days we will see the possibility how we can look into the changing it from evaluation to activation mode i mean how we can activate it definitely you would need a key for that but it would be possible to change it so i'm going to just type my password for this click finish and that's it i am ready with my windows 2019 and i can simply log into it So the Windows 2019 server is ready to use and you would see that it would show you the version over here. Um, if you look over here in the systems. So this is Windows 2019 standard evaluation version 18.09 installed on and OS build details you can see it from here and over here also you can see it says Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation and the Windows license valid for 180 days Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.